So I've been saying for years, ladies and gentlemen, that when you start to reject the New World Order poison, when you start to take care of your health, when you get your lighting situated, when you get your sleep situated, when you start grounding yourself, when you get the minerals back into your system, when you make at least 75% of your intake, you know, what you put into your system, foods that are real, your assemblage point drastically shifts and you start to look at things much differently in this world. You become more real. I've been saying this since I started my goddamn channel. That when you put things into your mind and into your body that are real, when you start doing things with your time that actually have meaning, you become more real than the world around you. And when that happens, you start to really flower and become something much different than you used to be. You start to reacquire the lost power that you've been bleeding out to the matrix your whole life. You see, you lose your energy to the matrix in a handful of ways, you know, through spiked cortisol, through stress, from having to conform to its bullshit. You lose energy to the matrix through your meridian points that are bleeding vital energy. You start to lose your jing, what's known as jing in Chinese medicine, to the matrix. You start to lose your qi as well, or your qi and your Shen, the three, Chinese, the three treasures of Chinese healing, you start to lose those, you start to bleed those out. You start to lose your vital energy through your meridians to the matrix. Now it only makes sense that if the lifestyle that the matrix wants you to live is what's causing this accelerated entropy and this accelerated decay, that by reversing the equation and doing practically the exact opposite of that, you would start to patch up the holes that you're bleeding your energy through and start to reacquire that lost power. And I am here to tell you that you can absolutely, undeniably reacquire lost power. You absolutely can. Through very simple methods and somewhat complicated methods, such as but not limited to what the masses like to call nofap. I like to call that seminal retention or filling the cup of Hermes. I'll talk about that more in the near future. I have video, I've, I've talked about it extensively in previous videos, but a lot of people want me to talk about not spilling what Samael Onwayar called the seminal liquor. 